Cobra Kai never dies. So we had the newest season of Cobra Kai season six, part one on Netflix. I was able to actually check it out twice. I checked it out on that Thursday and I checked it out again over the weekend. And when it comes to the series of Cobra Kai, I was there from the beginning. Like I'm a huge Karate Kid fan. I love all the rest of the films. And then when this one definitely was announced, I was definitely cautious on what they could be able to do with, you know, continuing the story of the Karate Kid with this being like a sort of legacy continuation of sorts. And with it premiering on YouTube, I remember just watching that first season and just liking it so much and just really liking what they did with this continuation and having that legacy continuation going on. So to me, every single season has been done really well and I like every single season. But how does this season live up to the rest of them? So with this newest uh, part one of the newest season, it's definitely not different when it comes to episode links. Each episode is about 30 to 40 minutes long. So it actually was kind of, you know, an easy breeze through to binge all the episodes, at least in one sitting. Overall, I would say I'm definitely hyped for the next part. I enjoyed this part one, and I'm definitely hyped for the next parts that are to come in the future. So far, I like what they're doing with the characters in this first part to where we're seeing how they're basically planning for the futures. Now that a majority of them are seniors in high school, they're planning for the futures, whether it comes to like playing for college, planning for what they're going to do after high school so i like where they're taking these characters and the sekai taikai tournament which is the main goal of this whole first part or at least this first this season that's going to be going on you can see how the the characters are planning you know with their goal of the sekai taikai how that plans into their future whether it's going to look good on a college application whether they're just doing it because they just need this as a, a confidence boost or something and you see how it's also affecting some of the older legacy characters like Daniel and Johnny and the rest of the other legacy characters that we got to where they're basically playing their future too. What takes place after this tournament happens or what this tournament could bring for the future of their characters. Honestly, it's just interesting to me to see how all, their, all the characters are playing for the future and how some of their paths for the future actually collide with other characters so you get a little tension going on between those characters and seeing how that really affects them they do introduce something new to the miyagi character and i was kind of questioning and questioning it on like why they're doing this and like kind of feeling like i'm not totally on board with this but as they gave us a little bit more bits here and there uh, you know, when it comes to me, the Miyagi character, it's not taking over or anything like that. It's kind of a subplot that's kind of going on. So they give us bits here and there throughout some of the episodes. And at first I wasn't on board with it. But now that they're giving us little bits here and there and they can kind of continue what they're trying to do. I'm a little curious on where they're going to take the Miyagi character, you know, with this new found information that we just found out. Where they're going to take the Miyagi character to and what else are we going to find out i'm hearing a lot of people saying how this season just felt like it's uh or you know this series is just kind of feeling like it's overstaying its welcome now that they have a season six a lot of people think that it should have ended earlier or maybe ended at season five and i get what people are saying but honestly i just love this series and love what they do with this story and with these characters that i could see how it could have ended in season five but honestly this part one of season six is still just so good i'm still just hyped for the next parts that i don't even mind that they keep going with this story like i can see why people are saying that but as for me for myself i just enjoy these characters and enjoy this story that they're still telling that i can still continue to watch this series and still have fun with it still be engaged with it and still just keep watching it keep wanting to watch it keep wanting to watch these episodes and just binge through them and still just want to be able to watch that next part and be hyped for it still like i said already before i already watched this part one twice already watched it on that thursday and i watched it again over the weekend that's just how much i really just love the series overall and in general that i just really just wanted to watch it at least twice already this series is still entertaining still fun to watch the fight scenes are still done so well it's still a pretty bingeable show i will say though like even though i do enjoy this series there is one part where i can see it kind of feels a little stretched out a little bit and that is going to be the character of crease like with crease's storyline where he is coming back in this season and basically seems like he's going to be the main villain of this season again 
I could see why it feels like it's stretched out just a little bit with this character. Like this character has been in this series and just at this point in time with this series, his character with his storyline just feels a little stretched out. Like he's still trying to continue what he's doing. He's still the villain and I could kind of see why they would bring him back and finish it off this series with him as the main villain again. Because, you know, he is the OG villain of the Karate Kid franchise, of course. So I could see why, like, you know, it started with him and how it could just end with him. But I'm not complaining because it's still a pretty good storyline with that's going on with him. And I still like seeing him on screen and seeing him in this series. But I could still see how it could feel a little stretched out with his character. And his character keeps coming back and keeps coming back. And in a way, his storyline is going out. It does feel like a little stretched out with his character. And the way that that last shot, that last shot that they gave us in episode five, ooh, I got chills. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I got chills with that last shot of episode five and the way they're just leaving us hanging for another four months until November, until we get part two. It's gonna be a long four months. I just gotta say, it's gonna be a long four months, especially with the way they ended up, you know, ended off with episode five with that little cliffhanger there. It's got, it gave me chills when that last scene we got on episode five gave me chills i had goosebumps it's gonna be a long four months until part two i can't wait for it though i'm still hyped for part two and part three so overall i did enjoy this for uh this first part of season six and i really do enjoy it um i know a lot of people are up and down on this part of this uh season this season part one of cobra kai but for me personally, I still enjoyed these episodes. I could still be able to watch this series and still have fun with it and still be entertained with it, still be engaged with it, engaged with the characters, invested with the characters, and invested with the storyline that's going on. And I still just love this series overall. It's such a good series. Every season has been so good, even if there's been some hits or misses here and there. Every season has been enjoyable and entertaining and so good still to me personally. So as for this season six part one i definitely liked it i enjoyed it pretty much all the way through I enjoyed this f first five episodes i'm hyped for part two and part three cannot wait for it but it's gonna be a long wait that's the that's the only bad part that's gonna be a long wait a long four months a long four month wait oh man but i'm excited for the next part can't wait for it i'm definitely hyped for it and i enjoyed this first part overall but let me know down in the comments below if you checked out this part one of season six. What did you think about? What are your thoughts on it? But that's going to do it all for this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe and turn notifications on so you know when I post another video. Hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you on the next one.